In this video, I'm going to talk about what to do when the productivity of your remote or hybrid team has gone down and it's hard for you to get it back up again because you're not co-located. Hi, my name's Chris Pop. I work with leaders, HR managers and business owners to create high performance teams with low touch, freeing you up to get on with your own work. So if you want to create a great hybrid team with low touch, get in touch with me or follow me on LinkedIn for more tips like this. Now a lot of teams have noticed that when they first went into lockdown or were working remotely, their performance and productivity went up. But now over time the momentum is it's, it's becoming hard to maintain. Recently I worked with an engineering firm and that was their situation. When they first started it was all great, people were working really well, in fact productivity went up because there were less interruptions. But over time it started to get worse. And what they noticed was that the tasks that normally would have taken six hours started to take six and a half or seven or seven and a half or eight hours. The amount of time they were taking was filling out. Now why does that happen? It happens when you're working remotely because there's no one around you. There's no cues in the environment. I like to call them rumble strips. There's no rumble strips to tell you whether you're on track, whether you're doing the work in the right amount of time to the right standard. Rumble strips are those strips on the side of the freeway that you hit when you're starting to go off track and they help you get back on track. So what you need to do with your remote team is help them set up rumble strips. And one great way to do that is through something that I call time budgeting. Time budgeting means that when you set up a task at the start of the day or the day before in your weekly planning, you give that task an amount of time. So you say it's going to take three hours to write that report or two and a half hours to do that other piece of work. And you put that in your diary. And what you want to do is get yourself to stick to the time that you've allocated. It's a way of setting up your own internal rumble strips. That's one tip. The real thing around, manage, around building up the performance of your remote staff is to create self-managing staff. And I talk about that elsewhere in other videos, so we can get in touch about that. But these are, tar these are staff that manage themselves to leave you free to get on with your own work. I'm Chris Pop. I hope this has been useful. If you want more tips like this, please subscribe or get in touch. In the meantime, good luck with that tip, and I hope you can get the performance of your team as good as it ever was. See you soon.